and track to find solutions. Five events and five different winners is ample proof of the competitive nature of the special vehicle category in the Absa Off-Road Championship, and nothing is likely to change on the Ford Motorite 400 in Limpopo. The race is round six of the Absa series, and for competitors still harboring championship hopes, every point scored on the final three events of the season is going to be precious. With one result to be dropped at the end of the season, title challengers will be working out a few calculations, and for some, a non-finish on any of the remaining events could be the end of the road. In the overall and Class A standings, the father and son team of Nick and Ryan Harper in the big Atlas Copco bat have a comfortable lead over Shamir Varayawa and Siegfried Rousseau in their total motorsport quarter as well as the chasing pack. But only 10 points separate the next five drivers and four navigators in the standings and no one would bet against a six crew joining the band of winners. Motorite bat crews Evan Hutchison and Akim Bergman and reigning champions Alfie Cox with Henny Terstecher have both tasted victory this season along with Carl Heinz and Quinton Sulwalt in the Sulwalt Transport Zarko as well as veterans Nandis Alberts and Colin Hunter in their Rapsa bat who won the Amatoli 500. This season's winners will again be among the front runners but you only need to look at the quality of crews who have not won to figure out that a sixth winner in six events is very much a reality. Former champ for Yawa and Rousseau spring to mind, as does Gary Bertolt, who's had a dreadful season so far with new co-driver Jeff Minnett in their Atlas Copco bat. Colin Matthews and Alan Smith Century Racing bat look like potential winners. Naim Mosaji and Rayon Bodjana in a total Jimco have improved in leaps and bounds, and Clint Gibson in the absolute bat is also knocking on the door. You can also not remove from the equation the likes of another former champion, Terence Marsh and Peter Grunewald in the Regent Racing Bat. Herman Silwalt and Mornay Muller in a Silwalt Transport Zarko and Cully Silwalt and Paul Helberg in their Silwalt Transport Zarko. Crews will relish a typically bushveld route and it would take a very brave man to pick a winner this time round. Hendrik and Jan Krein, the second Regent Racing Bat, lead Class B by a country mile. But now that their four-event winning streak has been broken via a crash on the Amatoli 500, other crews will be snapping at their heels. Bez Besaidnote and his nav, Johan de Brain, in the first Adenko Bat, will be back with Johan and Etienne Besaidnote in a second Adenko Bat, also in with a shout. The danger men, however, are likely to be KwaZulu Natal pair Marcus Taylor and Derek Keith in the JRE, who finally confirmed their potential by winning the Amatole 500. Phil Null and co Sandra Labiskachny and the Luke ATE Truggy will keep the other crews honest and will be keen to bounce back after a race to forget last time out. The cries will carry the popular money but could find themselves under some serious scrutiny. Class S was given a shake-up on the Amatole 500, with Glenn Gibson and Mark Whitehouse in the absolute ace go scoring a maiden win. That will have boosted their confidence, but championship leaders Richard Schilling and co Chris Davies in the Plastotech ace go, despite patchy recent form, look like a good bet in Limpopo. Gosla and Richard Carolyn in the Kopenong Hotel Super Team Race Go also come into the reckoning. A good three-way scrap is on the cards, but the Schilling Davies combo will be heavily favoured. For Gil Null and Sandra Lavaskachny and the Luke ATE Truggy, round six is all important. For Wim Gil, Sandra has made a big difference and her age has certainly helped a lot. A big, a huge difference. I think she, she, she's very, very sharp and uh, with the GPS it came in, she, she reads everything. You know, these youngsters, they're up, up to scratch with all the new technology and stuff and uh, she's really brilliant and uh, I think uh, she's made a big difference to, to, to the navigation side and uh, she's uh, helping me a lot as well and we, we're getting along very, very far. Have you taught her how to change wheels yet? She, she, she can do it quite quickly with me. She doesn't like flat wheels, so she wants to get out of it as quick as possible. And what about Sandra? 
It's really interesting. I thought it would be a bit more scary than it was. But um, I think with an experienced driver like Uncle Gil, who I'm navigating for, he makes you feel so relaxed about being inside the car. Um, we work together great as a team. I mean, he drove a single seater for quite a while, so it makes navigating a pleasure. And I've had a bit of help from Robin Houghton and from my dad, who drives a, a car himself. So they've been coaching me and making it so much more easy for me, like a rookie, to get into the car and just like be relaxed. Former SA champions Force and Pitchford are thus on track to win the production vehicle category in this year's APSA Off-Road Championship. Mm -hmm. Force in the factory Nissan Navara scored his third win on the trot in the Eastern Cape to open up a huge 37-point lead in the driver's overall championship. Force has reeled off successive wins on the Sun City 400, the Toyota 1000 Desert Race in Botswana and the Amatale 500 to move well clear of teammate and reigning champion Hannes Hobler. The East London result took Pitchford, who missed the Toyota Desert Race because of overseas commitments, into a 12-point lead over teammate Francois Jordan in the Co-Drivers' Championship. Third in the Drivers' and Co-Drivers' Champs are Cronier and Birkin, who threw away wins in Botswana and the Eastern Cape by crashing within a K of the finish while in the lead in both cases. is a long jam in fourth place with Ford Racing Ranger crews of Honkus and Moore and Woolridge and Schulthammer tied with overseas pair Ivar Tollefsen and Quinn Evans in a third factory Nissan Navara. They trail Grunier and Birken by just three points and are one point clear of Mark Corbett and Rudy Balzar in the Century Property Development Nissan Navara. As is the case in the special vehicle category, anomalies in the allotment of points for overall and class finishes sees a slightly different picture in the Premier Super Production class. Foss and Pitchford still lead, but Harkis and Moore with a 100% finish record, leapfrog Krobler and Jordan with Theotis Cronier and Birken in fourth. They in turn have a two-point lead over Corbett and Balzar, with Tollefson and Evans a further point in arrears. Only nine points separate Harkis and Moore from Tollefson and Evans. Class D leaders Harold and Tian Kun in that landy had a sorry time of it on the Amatole 500. For all that, they still lead Class D, but with a much reduced majority. The Kuns are actually only three points ahead of Ramon Besaidnot and Stefan Locke in the Toyota Hilux, with veteran Kutsia Lovaskachny tied with Besaidnot in the Drivers' Championship. Next up are Yuri and Andre Duplessis and brothers Henry and Maurice Matten in the Roby Nissan Hardbody. Only eight points separate the Kuns and the Zamatan brothers. After a dodgy start to the season, the Zamatans have reeled off two wins in a row and are now distinct threats in a close fought championship. The demise on the Amatole 500 of Roacon Toyota Hilux pair, the Barkhazens, and Castrol Toyota Hilux crew Brian Martin and Oki Furi has eased the logjam in Class E. Jack Beckham has a perfect finish record this season and is now 10 points clear of Yanni Fisser and the team Barber Spun Toyota Hilux for the Drivers' Championship. But Lucio Santoro, who sits alongside Beckham, succumbed to a bout of severe car sickness on the 500 and Beckham finished the event on his own. That put Jorks LaRouge shares the team Barber Spun entry with Fisser at the top of the Co-Drivers' Championship. The Barcaisans now find themselves third in the driver and co-driver standings. Driver George is 11 points behind Fisser and trails Peckham by 21 points. The picture is a little rosier for wife Sharon, who's only one point behind Santoro and 11 points behind LaRue. Martin and Free slip to fourth on the log, with Thomas Rundle and Brian Roberts fifth in the Barden Tire Services Nissan Hardbody. As is the case in the Special Vehicle Championship, competitors in the production vehicle classes also have to drop one result at the end of the season. This puts pressure on crews with one or two non-finishes already to their names. A solid second place on the recent Amatole 500 in the Eastern Cape has seen the father and son team of Nick and Ryan Harper tighten their hold on the special vehicle title chase on the APSA Off-Road Championship. The Harpers and the Atlas Copua Bat have also been helped by the up-and-down 